what's up guys welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to be talking about uh, angular fire 2 angular fire 2 now supports storage guys it's a really great rollout and uh, yeah that's what we are going to be talking about here it makes a lot of work simple for example before if you remember uh, for storing an image in uh, firebase storage i showed you like a lot of code right but now with uh, angular fire 2 supporting storage uh angular fire 2 has literally made it much easier to store uh, files in storage so let's see a very very simple example of storing an image uh, in firebase storage using angular fire 2 okay uh, that's it very simple now what i have done here is i have scaffolded out a project using angular cli and uh, you know installed angular fire 2 and firebase in this project as well and i have also installed a material design in this as well so first let me configure uh, Firebase. Okay, now that we have brought in Firebase inside our uh, project, uh, sorry, Angular Fire 2 as well as Firebase inside our project, let's move on. And uh, mm, what I'll do is I'll create a button. Okay, not a button, a file input. Okay. And uh, uh, when you click on that file input and the file gets uh, uploaded into storage, it will automatically be displayed below the file input itself. And then we'll move on and see how we can connect a progress bar that displays the progress of the uh, current file upload task uh, in your uh, front facing screen. Okay. So for that, what I'll do is I'll get into app.component.html first. This is how it looks, right? I'll remove all these and then add a simple button. But Let's get into app.component.ts and then uh, write some code here that will be supporting our uh, front end screen. So I'll import Firebase storage and then constructor uh, private storage, angular fire storage and that's it choose files files uh, event sorry event and uh, this dot selected files oh selected files we don't have selected files uh, file list and file And one more thing we used, right? Image source, I think. Yeah, image source. And this dot selected files equals event dot target dot files. Okay. And if this dot detected, so not detected, selected files dot item of zero. This is an array. So uh, item of zero will give the first element in the array, which will be our file start upload pick this is a function that i'll be calling okay uh, upload pick function will do the actual upload for us and look how easy it is uh, uh, let file equals this dot uh, selected file start item of zero okay this will give us the exact file right and uh, i'll simply do a upload task equals 
this dot storage dot upload and oh no i need a unique identifier right so for that i'll simply give a unique key equals pick pick plus math dot uh, random uh, math dot floor math set math dot random multiplied by okay uh, storage dot upload uh, and fire to store Now uh, this will get stored in this particular path, uploaded into this particular path uh, and what's going to be uploaded, the file is going to be uploaded. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do here. And the next thing is this dot uh, image source equals simply call the upload task and in this uh, I can get the download URL as well once this is uploaded. And yeah, let's now try to run this app and see what happens guys. Now let's see if this works fine, just click here and then choose a picture and I'm clicking on open let's see if this gets uploaded wow it got uploaded right but now if you notice uh, I didn't know whether the operation was running in the background or whether the file was getting uploaded until the image showed up on the screen uh, and I was actually about to check the console as well so what if uh, there was a way there was a progress bar that would display how much uh, the file has been uploaded and how much more is remaining uh, it, would, it would look cool right it would be like displaying the entire progress of the uh, particular uh, file upload task it would be like uh, displaying the entire uh, progress of the upload upload task that is currently running and it would serve as a visual reminder as to how much is left to be uh, uploaded so let's go ahead and do that so I'll get into my code first And then below this, I'll simply give to and uh, progress bar value. Okay. And I'll close this too. And uh, here I'll construct a math progress bar. Progress bar, if you remember, I can simply show you the docs. This is the code for progress bar, right? We'll go ahead and implement the same as well. Uh, color attribute. This will be simple color. And mode. This will again be mode. And uh, value will be progress, progress bar value. Well, sorry, value. Okay, uh, and uh, I'll close this. Okay, now I'll I need all these three in the component, right? So I'll go here and then uh, what was the first one? Color, right? Color. Second one was a uh, not color, sorry, mode. And the third one was progress bar value right now to get the progress bar value there is a simple function that's associated with upload task that is upload task dot percentage changes okay and uh, this will return an observable so let's subscribe this observable will be uh, if you you can't give an observable as an input to a progress bar right uh, that's not an ideal situation you need to give an input as a number to the progress bar for example i'll show you i'll show you and then you'll understand this dot progress bar value equals upload task dot percentage changes okay this is an observable now uh, and i'll simply give here as a sync so that this recognizes it okay 
and uh, let's you see what happens now then you will understand and in order to see we see the pro, you see the progress bar here right in order to uh, like uh, what do I, how do i say this see you can see this uh, numbers right getting increased that's the actual progress that's the actual percentage change that's happening in the background uh, i mean the file is being uploaded but the progress bar if you see there is no value at all right since we gave an input to the uh, input as an observable to the progress bar that's the thing we did here and that's why uh, nothing is happening once this is once this is 100 this image will get displayed here uh, yeah that's okay uh, so instead of this if we just give a number say for example i am giving 50 okay see now you can see the change in the progress bar right so the progress bar expects a number that's what i'm trying to say here uh, so let's give a yeah, so let's give it a number to do that what i'll do is upload task dot percentage changes dot subscribe value this dot progress bar value equals value okay now let's see uh, what happens i'll click here i'll just give what to class itself see now you can see that the progress bar is being updated with the percentage change as the upload happens in the uh, background right now let's wait until 100 the digits are too much yep 100 and the progress bar is now complete right so this is how you can uh, bring in uh, what to say dot to fixed two digits this is how you could bring in a, a progress bar to indicate the value of your current upload task as well guys right My internet is a bit slow. Yeah, I live in India, right? So, <laughs> so uh, probably this video will take as much time to upload as this uh, thing is. No, sorry, guys. Sorry, I, today I didn't set up my camera uh, to get my facial expressions on this video as well. I apologize for that. Probably I'll be rejoicing, I guess. <laughs> anyway. So yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today uh, hopefully this video helped you in some way if you found this helpful kindly share it with someone and help them too i found this really helpful since i was using the original firebase firebase vanilla uh, sdk api for uh, firebase storage and now suddenly angular fire 2 now supports storage officially so i found this really helpful i hope this uh, helps you as well and hope you understood now how to upload how this makes uploading files much easier and how to connect a progress bar with this as well uh, you could do a lot of other fun stuff as well my friend at angular firebase there's a ch channel called angular firebase my friend jeff has uh, put up a video on this particular topic angular fire 2 and uh, storage as well kindly check him out check that video out as well since i thought uh, it, it was really good content it was really good content and it was precise content as well so yeah if you have time kindly have a look i'll put a description uh, i'll put a link to that video in the description as well so yeah guys uh thanks for watching talk to you guys in my next video bye